Hi, I'm glad you could join me. Um, so I promised one video each week, but then when new developments happen, I think it's uh, it's just right that we 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 come back and discuss something else. So yesterday, a very important announcement was made regarding the Zambian national team, the Football Association of Zambia, as uh, had earlier been speculated, uh, confirmed. Our uh, Yosa Sanovich as the new national team coach on a four-year four years deal. Uh, an announcement was made and obviously we'd be expecting him to get down to, to the business. Um, so I'm going to briefly look at, you know, making sense out of that move. Uh, also, uh, maybe what the action points should be, what I think the action points should be from the, from the start. And equally look at the expectations. Obviously, we have a lot of expectations. Uh, they might be varied from one end to another, but uh, clearly we all have a lot of expectations and we want the best for the, for the team. Um, obviously, yesterday I posted a, a different video when I was looking at the subject of relegation. Uh, I would be glad if you could go back and look at it after this one. You know, give me your comments there, give me your suggestions and what your thoughts are. The same can actually be done for this for this presentation as well. So quickly, under uh, 15 minutes or so, uh, what do we know about the coach? What we know is that he's been uh, in international football before as an assistant coach to uh, Slavin Bilic for you know for Croatia, native Croatia for about five to, to six years. Obviously, that means he's got uh, an experience on that end of the game. We quite know that he's uh, worked at uh, Spartak um, Lokomotiv Moscow before. Um, also had uh, another stint uh, coaching in, in Australia. Outside that, we know that he's a coach educator or instructor, as we may want to call it, under the uh, the Croatian the Croatian FA, um, an international instructor. That is, uh, he holds the UEFA Pro license. That's just about the highest uh, coaching qualification one can have in this in this game. Uh, what we also know is that he's not a stranger to Zambian football. He's been uh, around. He was part of the you know, unsuccessful qualification campaign for the second round of the of the of the World Cup qualifiers, serving as a technical advisor to to based on Chambeshi. And so let's just try to make a bit of sense out of that move. Uh, the first thing I think is that uh, the timing is the timing is right. We know that the next point of focus for the Chipolo Polo is uh, the qualification for the next AFCON which shall be played uh, next year. The AFCON that will be hosted in Ivory Coast. And so the timing is right. Uh, the draws for the next qualification uh, phase are going to be made uh, next week. Um, next week the, the draws are going to be made and so by that time I think you will know what the the possible opponents for Zambia are going to be. So as far as timing goes, I think the timing is, is, is right. I think he's going to have enough time to prepare, assess who the opponents are going to be, and then prepare adequately for them. Um, like I said earlier, only other thing is that he's not a stranger. He knows the Zambian terrain, at least. We know this for a fact. He's worked with uh, most of the players that are, you know have been part of the team in the last 12 months or so, if you like. Those that have been part of the team in the last 12 months, he's worked with, with them. So he knows where to start. He's not going to be starting from from scratch. Um, clearly, there is the subject of rebuilding cannot be there anymore because it's like you are bringing back someone that has already been there. It's like you you are bringing an old but 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 new coach. If if, if I can say that, clearly he's worked with the team. You know, uh, so he's not starting from scratch. Even the the idea of rebuilding cannot be. Part of the conversation now it's purely about about getting the getting the results um another thing that i think uh, makes a lot of sense out of this appointment is that he knows what what is required basically to get this team ticking or to get this team to do what is uh, necessary for it to do in order to make the qualifications that are required and uh, equally to move uh, from this level on to the on to the other one the other very very sensible thing about this move actually is the length of the contract. It's a four-year contract. Uh, on the international stage, really when you are appointing uh, coaches world over, they appoint coaches based on the World Cup cycles, the four-year the four-year cycles. So you know, on the international stage, you don't find you know, short-term contracts like one-year contracts, two-year contracts. Those are very rare instances. But then the four-year contract makes a lot of sense because in there you have, uh, I think, two Afcons. In there you have a World Cup qualifying campaign. Now what that does is that it gives someone ample time to prepare. They won't be pressing the panic buttons anytime soon because they have that. Uh, they know that there's uh, a lot of time in which they can prepare and try and get the results going forward. The other thing is that they can lay very firm foundations and equally build on the sort get results on the on the same foundation that they that, that they lay. 
um, if you could tell from his body language and equally the responses that he gave in the in the press, you could tell that this is someone that has confidence that uh, there's potential in that team and that that uh, he can get the most out of out of that team. So that's the the sense side of the. Of the, of the deal, I think primarily at this stage, that's what we can say. Moving on, um, what are some of the action points? Uh, first thing, I think there has to be a combination of identifying what his spine is going to be and uh, get a bit of consistency in terms of the of the collapse. By spine, as always, we mean you know identify who his goalkeeper is going to be, what is preferred center back pairing, for example, is going to be, or what is preferred full backs will be. What his preferred uh, best midfielder is going to be, maybe you can add an attacking midfielder to that. And what his uh, preferred uh, striking force is going to be, if you have about uh, five to seven players that you are going to rely on fully, then you just add others to add to the, you know, adding flesh to the bone. Then you are really setting, uh, making a very good foundation on which upon which you can get results. So that spine is is required. If you remember years back, I think uh, prior to winning the 2012 Afcon and even a few months after winning the 2012 Afcon, just like in the 1994, 96, around there, you could easily predict the at least five, seven players that are going to, to start a game for Zambia. And that's exactly what we mean by the spine. So these are players upon which the team is going to be anchored, like the core of the team, and then everyone else is just going to be adding the, the spine. So it's important that he gets that uh, as soon as as possible. And like we said, he's worked with the team before, so I think he, he should have an idea of who those players are and who some of those players could be. There equally has to be consistency in the collapse. The, the problem that the, you know, the last huge Polo coaches have had is that there hasn't been a lot of consistency in terms of collapse. So today you find they've got this set of players, you know, the other day there's, there's this set of players, but we need to get to a point where there's a little, a, a bit of consistency. Because the thing with international football is that whenever a camp is called, called you're going to train maybe for together for about you know, three maximum probably four days and so there isn't a lot of a lot of there isn't a lot of time in which you can prepare and so to get the right that right it's important that you use pretty much the same the same players or a good number of, of the same players so that what you may have worked on in the previous camp you just basically build on onto the onto the next cup and you move forward like that that's a difference with club football because club football you have the players pretty much every day but in international football time is time is limited you also have to factor in things like you know there has to be traveling arrangements you know you have to you know to, to go to a different country and so time is always is always a factor so once you identify the spine and you get the consistency right i think it sets up one one an upward trajectory towards getting the the results that may be may be desired key again as an action uh, point is going to be sorting out the the defense it, it's something that has let let uh, chipolo polo down in the in, in recent memory like i keep emphasizing is that as long as you keep conceding as long as you keep allowing goals then you are always affecting your chances of winning football matches so that is one of the things that are going to be very key action action points now in terms of sorting out defense it's it, it's it's two things it's about identifying the right individuals that are going to fit in and crucially about how these individuals are going to work together as a unit these individuals uh, you know will not just be about uh, about the the defenders and the goalkeeper it's it, it's about the whole team it's about individuals who are willing to put in a shift both in attack and and in defense especially in defense because remember as long as you don't concede as long as your defense is okay it always gives you a chance to win to win you know to win a particular football football match the other point of action that i think is very important is that uh, he has to find a way of getting the most out of some of the players that are part of the Chipolo Polo setup or that are going to be part of the Chipolo Polo setup. A case in point, I think uh, in a long time we've been complaining that there haven't been natural number eights, if you like, uh, in the game. Um, but then a player like Klinz Kangwa comes to mind, really. Uh, I think over the last 12 months he hasn't been given enough chances or fair chance to show what he has to offer. And you know you could you you could see that in the few the cameo uh, performances uh, cameo appearances that they gave him at home against uh, Equatorial Guinea and uh, away in in Tunisia he really changed the face of of the game when he came on and so I feel I think that is a player that has a lot of quality which if harnessed accordingly and used accordingly we could get a lot of 
a lot of joy from a lot of joy from him equally there are players that are ticking like you know your fashion sakala is your you know parts on daka you know my boy emmanuel banda uh, try and try and uh, you know make the most out of them yes they are doing well at the moment but surely there is there's room for improvement surely there's room that they could actually capacity that they could actually increase or better their their numbers as they play for chipolo polo so i think that's one uh, key area of action for him it's about uh, making most of these players stick and taking them from one level onto onto another crucially again one uh, another point of action will be convincing uh, players that are of Zambian descent to uh, come and, and and play for Zambia. We know that uh, Mitchell made an attempt. We heard that there were a few, you know, we heard and saw that there were a few that were convinced, like you know, uh, um, the young man that plays for Cardiff. Also, there's uh, Frankie Chisenga and a few others. But then uh, it's not just about where one was, you know, where one one's parents were you know come from or and all that it's about the coach convincing the player of the project that he has it's about the coach convincing the player on why he should actually select or opt to play for zambia and not any other any other country and so does he have the capacity to do to do that we we wait and see but i believe he has the capacity to do that owing to the fact that he's coached at you know a fairly not really fair a, a very high level and uh, uh, with his ex experience and uh, you know um, um abilities that he has should be able to convince some of these players because look the the direction that african football has taken especially or global football has taken especially is that you, you need to be to get your best players you need to get the players that can represent you as long as they qualify in a way or the other the other day we saw stephen coker uh playing for for sierra leone this is a this is a, someone that has played in a friendly for for england this is someone that was uh, um qualifying to play for 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 scotland or is it northern ireland but now he's he's pulling on the shot of sierra leone chiefly because his grandmother has you know some heritage there it's about uh, doing some of those things most of the players that are playing for algeria at present that are playing for for senegal they weren't born in, in Senegal, but they have some lineage that links them to Senegal and Algeria and other countries, and they are playing. And it's 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 making a very big difference for most of these teams. And so, if you want to make a difference for Zambia as well, surely there should be some players out there that can come in and uh, uh, add value to, to to what Chipolo Polo has or intends to be. And so, the coach is going to be one of the key key areas that I think you should you should look at. Um, Additionally, and maybe the last one on this on, on, on this section for now is that uh, he has to find some consistency and find the winning the winning formula. The players are not new to him. He knows their attitudes. He knows how they respond to certain trainings or to set to tactics or to certain certain things that they are asked to 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 do. And so he needs to find a way of balancing that up and making them tick. There really is not going to be any any excuse. There really is not going to be any excuse for failure to to perform. So that is one other point of action is to find consistency uh, in terms of the winning formula and ensure that it sticks going going forward with a lot of uh, success that is desired. Um, as always, let me know what you think about this this content. Let me know what you what you what your thoughts are. You know, additions, subtractions, and look, it's just a football conversation anyway. Uh, add your voice as well um finally the expectations like i said earlier on whenever something new happens or whenever something is going on there are a lot of expectations and that is why we pay a lot of attention because we have a lot of expectations while it's always important to manage our expectations uh some of the expectations really um are filled with a lot of realism and i think that is that, that is purely what i'm i'm looking on the ones i'm looking at but on realism really the first expectation there are no 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 prizes for guessing it's about qualifying to the to the afcon that is something that we've missed in the last uh, three three instances this was at some point almost what you'd call a birthright if if if, if we would say that it was like qualification qualification to the afcon was like uh, you know um 
by default, as long as you enter the qualifiers, then you are going to qualify. Obviously, there are a few instances that went through for when it wasn't when it wasn't done. But uh, aside aside that and a few other instances, it's it's, it's been something that uh, we've we've been accustomed to. Can we get back to that? And that is one of the first expectations. I think that he has to he has to meet. On the other front, I think he equally has to challenge for the for World Cup qualification. He's got a four year four year contract. Obviously, it's subject to his his performance. If he doesn't perform well at some point, maybe he might be asked to leave. But as long as he performs well, then he should stay for four years and probably even even beyond. So it's we are being realistic if we ask him to challenge for the for the World Cup. He's got the collection of players. Yes, it might not be the best collection of players uh, globally, but really it's a good material that anyone can work with and with the right attitude and the right application of, you know, a lot of a few factors that uh, are related to performance should we should be able to to get the results so the other expectation is that he tries and challenge for the for the world cup really um what i expect him i expect him to make the team fearful once more and uh, unpleasant to face no one wants to face a, a, a soft team no one wants to face a team that plays light kind of football if you like so the team must be fearful once more it's about doing the right things in possession doing the right things when you don't have the ball it's about uh, attacking with with all your might defending with all your might it's about putting in the shifts that uh, really count and show that players once more have the the the, the zeal and know what it takes to pull on the, the chipolo polo chipolo polo shirt and obviously, the final expectation is that you must make Chipolo Polo, Chipolo Polo again. It's that simple. We know what Chipolo Polo can, how Chipolo Polo can be, what Chipolo Polo can, can be, the capacity, what the heights that have been hit before, the heights that are possible to, to be hit once more. So we basically just want that. Make Chipolo Polo, Chipolo Polo once again. I think it shouldn't be a lot to, to ask. Finally, let me say, I think I, I believe in, in, uh, in him. Uh, due to a lot of a lot of factors, some which I've highlighted before in my in in my write-ups, uh, even when he was taking co advisor, the moment that he started conducting on the touchlines, you could see that the team played with a certain kind of zest, a certain impetus. There was a lot of drive in the in the team, and they looked up for it. Um, obviously, the, exp the experience that he's had, like I said before, coaching at a, at a higher level, should be able to uh, bring dividends on, on 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 this side. And so I believe in. Uh, I believe in him. Um, I have a lot of expectations for him. I know you have as well. And so let's just all support this uh, new era that has started for Chipolo Polo. And hopefully it gives us the much desired results. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time. Bye-bye.